All right, all right. What's good on the Rise Nation? I'm out here. Today is Thursday, um, July. I believe today is the 27th, man. It's crazy. Um, it's been a wild ride so far. I started June 1st, 2022. So we're at the end of July, 2022. Uh, if you're new to this stand, this channel, I come here and I just kind of give daily updates let you guys know what's going on with me. I'm sorry if there's some background noise because I'm standing near the street. It's early. I got to my drop early. Um, I'll probably get a little quick 20-minute workout in while I'm waiting for them to open. I was hoping that somebody would get here early and I'd be able to dump and be on my merry little way. But it's not. Listen, um, last week I saw a truck, a hail truck. Um, H-E-Y-L I think that's how you pronounce it is hell uh, thank God I mean it didn't look like anybody was hurt but the guy dropped his trailer on the road this is something that is common it happens to especially to rookies but it can happen to anybody if you load that truck or if you back up under that truck and you go the lazy route you don't get up under that truck. Let me let these cars go by. You don't get up under that truck to double check and make sure that your kingpin is locked in. You always risk dropping your trailer. And that's exactly what happened in his case. Um, it looks like he was trying to make a right turn at the stoplight. And the trailer just fell off the back of his fifth wheel. Um, needless to say... Depending on how the company looks at that, that's negligence. And he could be out of a week's pay or more. Um, definitely his day was ruined, right? His day was, you know, imagine you're on your way to your route and you drop your trailer. Always, always, always. Even if it's dark. And it wasn't dark at this time. But even if it's dark, get up under that truck. Flash your phone or your flashlight. And make sure that you see that that little bar is going across and that your kingpin is all the way locked in. It takes an extra 30 seconds. And the reason I'm kind of harping on this is because when I was a rookie, my first, I said my first two weeks, I was working a job where they literally had me running ragged and I was exhausted. It was probably two in the morning and uh, I was getting no sleep. So I was a little tired. I'm like, man, you know, I I did the tug test and I felt it tug and it felt like my trailer was locked. Man, I hooked that bad boy up. I was ready to peel out, you know, trying to get to my drop. Next thing I know, felt like I was hit by a train. My body went flying everywhere. And when I looked in my mirror, I just saw my trailer coming off to the side of me like like so and uh needless to say that was a dangerous situation um that's a situation where somebody could have got seriously hurt i could have got seriously hurt i could have seriously hurt somebody else and for what because i didn't want to take 30 seconds to get up under that trailer stick my head under there and make sure that my kingpin was locked in um let these cars go by Yeah, so that's that. You know, this job right here, it, it it's uh, dangerous in nature, but you can take a lot of the danger out of it by making sure you keep a safety first approach to everything that you're doing. Um, this week has been crazy. So each week I'll try to do a video on the craziest thing I see. So last week that was the craziest thing that I saw. This week, I mean, it's Thursday. The craziest thing that I've seen this week I've seen a lot of crazy things, but this week, for whatever reason, the sheer number of people that are willing to risk their lives to pass a semi-truck, right? I'm getting off on, on an exit or I'm merging, and there's a car, and I can see it in my mirror, like this car is not going to stop, right? The His lane is ending. I'm in the left side lane, 
my lane is continuing. So rightfully he should get behind me. And uh, because he didn't want to wait, you know, I'm, I'm heavy. So it's not like I can take off like a race car. But I'm, I'm far enough ahead of him where he should wait. He literally goes into the grass at about 50 miles, 60 miles per hour, swerving just to get ahead of me. And you know the crazy part? It was heavy traffic up ahead. So I was literally for miles and miles, literally right behind him, right? Once he merged on. So it's not like he was able to jump in front of me and just take off and peel out. Nope. He got in front of me. And then we just basically rode together for about 10 minutes. Um, that's just recklessness. But that's a lot of the stuff that we have to deal with out here uh, while we're on these dangerous roads. So you guys as truckers, be careful. Um, and if you're a non-trucker and you're watching this video, be careful as well. Because I happened to see that guy. So I was able to slow down a little bit. But if I don't see you... Or if a driver, a truck driver doesn't see you and they're going and you're going, you're in a little car, nothing's going to happen to that truck driver physically. I, I keep saying it and I know like people should know better, but they don't. Another, um, another one that I saw two days ago, um, I was driving and again, my truck is governed at 60. But I'm driving in a 50 mile, 55 mile per hour. So I'm going 60. And uh, it's a two lane road, meaning there's one lane going uh, east and another lane going west. You know how those roads are. And uh, there's a guy, or a girl, I don't know, who wants to pass me, right? But there's a car coming up ahead, literally like less than 100 yards. And. Uh, I can see that the car wants to pass behind me, but I'm like, we're closing in. I was getting closer to 80, 70, you know, 60 yards. And literally, he still proceeds to go around me. Now, as he's going around me, two, two thoughts are going to my head. If I don't slow down, I, I either can continue at the speed that I'm going, about 60, and he's going to crash because he doesn't seem like he's going to stop. But when I think about it, it's like there's an innocent person coming towards both of us. That person does not deserve to die simply because this idiot decides that they wanna they don't wanna wait. And so I as we uh, uh, get closer to the oncoming car, I go ahead and slam on my brakes. As I slam on my brakes, I can see that the oncoming car is slamming on their brakes, but they're so close. If I didn't slam on my brakes, it would have been a head-on collision because the car that was passing did not see like they were playing. Uh, they were like they were playing a game of chicken. They did not want to slow down. And I just think that people have to be a little bit more um, mindful, a little bit more prudent when we're driving. Make better decisions out there because. At the end of the day, um, everybody depends on everybody else to make it home. Your foolishness sometimes will cause somebody else to not make it home. Um, if, if you kill yourself, um, I don't, that's not what I want, but it is what it is because you're choosing to do that. But if you kill somebody who's innocent because of your poor choices, that's, that's really a problem, right? that's definitely really a problem so be careful out there guys um as far as the trucking itself goes it's going well with me the the truck has been doing well this week you have your minor things that will always happen you know tires need to be inflated you got some leaks here and there gotta buy oil um the regular maintenance stuff but that stuff is regular maintenance so I, I don't stress about that type of stuff it's just i don't like the stuff that'll keep you down for a day two days three days and and so on um and, and sometimes more than that a week or two <laughs> right so um just be careful out there uh, y'all let me know like comment subscribe how how's your journey going uh things are are looking pretty good i'm making some headway into purchasing my truck and i'll let you guys know once i have my truck purchased and i'll be able to break down some numbers for y'all but until then 
stay on the rise. Let's make it to the top together. Peace.